However, unfortunately, when the program was reinstated on April 14th, what happened was that the toxic burden that was to be placed on the firefighters was removed and then put on the residents of the towers that were have been de uh, designated to be installed at 19 different Los Angeles police departments and also those who are in the quote mixed use category in the cap document this means that the men women children and the unborn living in these areas are going to be affected by radio frequency radiation uh, the towers are going up without notice I have just personally walked eight of the 19 LAPD sites nobody knew or knows what's going on they are residential biological effects have been found to occur at approximately 300 meters which is the equivalent of three city blocks I've walked the radius around these towers and in some cases um, I've encountered no fewer than 250 homes um, Ms. Kuehl you made a very interesting comment in a Los Angeles Times interview when you said that there was a lot of heartburn on both sides but the problems that these residents are going to have go way beyond heartburn it's not something that is going to be corrected by Pepsid or Alka-Seltzer. We're talking about potential cancers, behavioral problems, heart palpitations, headaches, sleeplessness, agitation. And this is really a toxic legacy that is being left. And I implore you to put an end to this. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am.